Hey Internet! So today we're going to take a look at another little goofy handheld gadget. Uh, this one is the Hudson Shooting Watch that came out in 2008. Actually modeled after um, a version that was created in the late 80s. And what this little thing does is it super useful. Uh, it tells you how quickly you can press a button. That's its primary function. So it seems useless now, and yeah, probably not the most useful thing in the world, but back in the day, uh, a guy named Takahashi Meijin, uh, who you may know as the inspiration behind Master Higgins in the Adventure Island series, uh, he worked at Hudson, and he was able to press a button 16 times per second. That was his claim to fame uh, as far as uh, shooting games go. And uh, again, back in those days, they may not have had like the turbo buttons like you'd see on the turbo graphics or other consoles later on. Uh, so being able to press a button quickly in a uh, old school shmup, I guess uh, that's, that's a skill <laughs> worth uh, honing. So we're going to take a look at it. Uh, this has been unboxed previously, but I just wanted to show it to you guys in the box. I actually got this in 2008 when it came out because I thought it was a fun little gadget. I'm a big fan of Hudson and, and shmups in general. So uh, I kept it in the box and uh, we're going to we're gonna take a look. So here's the packaging. Pretty, pretty standard stuff uh, on the back. Just shows you what you've got. The different modes along with the two secret modes. We'll talk about those in a moment. There we go. And uh, let's open this bad boy up. All right, so there's the box. Here's the inside. In the back, we've got the instruction manual, all in Japanese, of course. Uh, the good news is you don't need much for in the way of instructions here. It's all kind of self-explanatory, but if you do, I've found that this works pretty well with Google Translate on your phone. Um, translates it pretty, pretty well, at least enough for you to get the idea of what each of the modes are. All right, so here we go. Take it out of this plastic, and then below, um, you can see this isn't in the best shape here, but there's a little, uh, a little uh, uh, cover you can put on there, a little adhesive thing there that looks a bit like a star soldier, right? That's kind of neat. And uh, these little punch outs came out here, but that's all right. This thing's a good 13 years old. All right, so here it is. Here's the shooting watch itself. It looks like an old school kind of NES style, Famicom style controller without the D-pad over here. But you got your start, select, uh, your B and A, and then you got a little hole here in case you wanna, I don't know, Put it on your keychain or something? No idea. Um, then here we go. The different modes. You've got shooting, time, and that simply tells you what time it is. And to reset the time, what you do is you hold down the select and start together, uh, like you would have maybe the uh, PC Engine or Turbo Duo to reset um, your, your console. You hold that down for a few moments, it'll start flashing, and then you can set the time. Uh, stopwatch, which is a stopwatch. Shocking, right? And then you've got these two secret modes. Now, here's where things get a little fuzzy for me. This first mode I've unlocked, and all it is is basically a roulette wheel. So you hit start, and... And you want to try to get all three numbers the same. So you can try it again. I'm doing really well. Uh, so that, that's really all that is. It's a little little timing game. This last uh, hidden mode, I have no idea what it is or how to unlock it. And I can't find anything on the internet that tells me what it is. Uh, lots of Googling, uh, zero results. So if anybody out there knows, please leave it in the comments because I would love to know what that last mode is does and how I'm supposed to unlock it. All right, so let's get to the main event here, uh, the shooting. So we've got it on the shooting timer. You can see uh, my high score here is 135. Uh, and honestly, I think that's probably my kid's score. He's he's younger, more agile. Uh, and uh, yeah, what that means is 
he's able to uh, press the button 13 and a half times per second because how this works is when I hit that start button, you probably notice how the 10 popped up. So that's the timer. That's letting me know that it's ready to go. And then what I can do is it starts counting down the moment I start pushing a button. So let's see how this works. You can see it counting down there. All right, I was able to do it 85 times in 10 seconds. So 85 divided by 10, let's do our you know third grade math, uh, is eight and a half times a second. Not as good as my son's score. So I'm competitive, let's try it again. I'm gonna hit the start button. Here we go. This time, I'm gonna try it, you can use both buttons. I'll try not to shake the table over. Here we go. Ninety one, a little better. So nine point one times per second. And that is it. That's what this thing does. <laughs> this is the Hudson shooting watch. So a little bit more about this. Uh, the Hudson shooting watch I mentioned also came out, I think, in the late 80s in Japan. Uh, they put it out. They also released a DSI wear uh, game game. Uh, for the uh, DSi, the Nintendo DSi, that was basically a recreation of this exact thing with a couple uh, extra options um, and like a little graph that shows you how you did. Um, that's about all the difference is that uh, I think it was like, I don't know, five, ten bucks. Uh, and then, uh, speaking of the DSi wear, WiiWare um, Star Soldier R came out on WiiWare and there was a mode, uh, I think it was called let's see it's called like fast mode or something like that but it did the exact same thing timed your button presses on your on your Wii remote so you could practice your quick shot uh, this thing I believe in uh, 2008 cost me 20 bucks pretty sure I got it from play Asia or NCSX or something like that uh, a silly uh, superfluous you know goofy uh, purchase, but again, I'm a fan of Hudson. I miss that company. And uh, so I picked it up. You can get them on eBay now. Of course, uh, super expensive, at least for what you get. You know, it's I've seen them go for about a hundred bucks uh, more if it includes the packaging. Here, uh, you, whether or not that's worth it to you is your business, but uh, for me, I feel like 20 bucks was kind of my ceiling on this thing. So anyway, that is the Hudson Shooting Watch. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.